Hello everyone, my name is Corinne and I have a video for you today that I'm super excited about. I go through these periods of time every month or so where I find a new inspiration to sort of attach myself to and I truly run with it. And this month I'm really excited to talk about it. Just a little, just like a little preface in the beginning of the video and then I'll get to the outfits. It all starts with my purchasing this book. This is the best book in the world. This is the best book that I've ever experienced, that I've had the opportunity and pleasure to open and read. It is called Jocks and Nerds. Um, basically, it goes through men's styles in the 20th century and sort of breaks down menswear into archetypes and it's just been very interesting to read through there's sort of a ton of different categories but i'm mainly going to be referencing two of them so the two that have been most influential to me currently recently have been the chapter about the sportsman and then the chapter right after that called joe college basically the sportsman talks about the origin point of sports clothing from the like early 1910s and like how it evolved through the century and like sort of what inspiration was taken from what at what time and the sort of influential people showcasing and sporting this style of clothing. So it touches on Rene Lacoste, which you all know and love, the Lacoste sort of alligator brand. And, you know, just gorgeous photos of tennis players. Okay, this is a page in it. There's, there's the man himself. And the origin of the V-neck tennis sweater the little golf uniform outfits from the 20s with their short little knicker pants. And then the Joe College section covers varsity letters, the fur coats, the um, preppy icons of Hollywood, etc, etc. Et so if you're interested in the outfits that I've put together, try to get a hold of this book it'll tell you so much and it'll be such an inspiration for you also tell me if you already own it so that we can discuss it because i know it's like very well known in the fashion world as a reference book a textbook type thing but i haven't met very many people outside of the fashion world um or that aren't participating in fashion school that have um taken an interest in it so but isn't this gentleman perfect? He's perfect in every way. Look at his his little his little glasses, his little look into the distance, smug, important. He's just perfect. Anyway, so this is my first reference inspiration book. And then following that, in a still very important but lesser degree, is the preppy handbook. This <laughs> my dad has had around for like, you know, I don't know, since it came out in the 80s. He loved this book. It is an interesting dive into sort of like the world of preps. Basically, it's a tribute to preppiness, but also being critical of preppiness. The introduction in the book has a great sentence at the end that says, Remember, preppies don't have to be rich, Caucasian, frequenters of Bermuda, or ace tennis players, but they do have to read this book. You know, they're acknowledging that this world, the preppy world, is sort of like one tone of person, and it's encouraging everybody to participate in whatever way that they can. I got it because the uh, fashion section is really fun. There's lots of really amazing drawings of people and it sort of like breaks down their looks there's subjects uh such as like what do you wear to the cocktail party or pinstripes in the pm stuff like that i don't know it's really entertaining 
swimwear for the summer. But the beginning, which is where I am bookmarked at, basically talks more about like the lifestyle. So it says breaking the rules, information about boarding schools for both boys and girls, sort of a jackpot of information. For those reasons, I would recommend that everybody try to get themselves a copy of this. It's pretty hard to find for an affordable price. But yeah, you'll notice that my outfits reference a at least a garment of like a preppy style or of the, you know, the sportsman or the college man. All of the garments of clothing that belong to those categories are sort of like circling around in this video and in my little world in my brain so i've just kind of like combined them all together and obviously put my own spin on it a big thought that i've been having also is like color blocking and how to inject more color into my wardrobe because i feel like in new york around fall and winter everybody just immediately switches to wearing black all day all the time and so um, I tried to include no black in this video because after all that's not very preppy is it? So I guess let's jump into the outfit portion of this video. So we're going to start off with this first outfit which is sort of an exciting mix of like knitwear and cottons and athletic wear. This references the golfing outfits that I was finding a lot in my research. This is an attempt at making kind of a jodhpur like trouser pant thing out of a pair of khakis. Basically what I did is I just put rubber bands around my uh, knees and sort of hiked them up there and then put the socks over it. I think it looks like fine but I honestly, if I had jodhpurs, I would just like replace that in a second. What I've done is I've just paired this like little vintage knit cardigan um, jackety thing. It's sort of this dark blue with these green stripes down the front and the back sides. I thought that it would be nice to sort of like bring in more blues. So that's why I put on the hat. I kept with the themes of the stripes with the scarf and the socks and then at the bottom you know typically i think you would see like a men's shoe or a sneaker at the bottom of this look but i thought it would be fun to sort of elevate this and to make it more fashion and more current by throwing on a pair of heels these heels are actually junior Watanabe. i'm so thrilled to have these in my life but i feel like such a a brand monster when i say brands but I just love that brand. I think they do some really beautiful things. It's just an exciting moment for me to have something in that world. I obviously bought them secondhand, but still. And they're these really beautiful, like, Oxford wingtip style pointed mules. Um, again, that sort of references, like, traditional menswear. But then it sort of brings it into women's wear and to modern world via the heel and then to bring the white back into the outfit i drew on this little white handbag then i put a pin on the front of my sweater this pin says the milford mariners which i believe is a baseball team in connecticut and i think it is really fun and again references like the world around sports that i cannot relate to in any way but i think is aesthetically very beautiful and I also thought on the front of a shirt it looked kind of like a crest so yeah that is my look I think this is fun and it's a fun sort of mixture of colors and stripes and knitwear and that is all I aim to do with this outfit so I'm excited about it and I'm probably gonna wear it to work tomorrow so so the next outfit, the general color story is pink and cream. This gently references Tom Brown. If you haven't seen my Tom Brown video, go look at that. Please watch it. I think it's pretty and I think the outfits are really good and really strong. Anyway, this pink set just screams Tom Brown. It's like a sort of a 90s take on a Tom Brown outfit. It's this really amazing sort of warm pink. It just has this like nice little fitted vest with this pleated skirt 
and these little cream buttons that go down the front. So basically I started with this set and built from there. The cream on the buttons I just matched with this cardigan which I couldn't figure out how to style. I really liked it like sort of over my shoulders and then like not on but I also kind of liked it on but I just didn't like how exposed my neck was. It is all about the preppiness and the varsity and the sports and the everything and so it had to be included in this look. This cardigan is really a beautiful wool. I believe it's from the 60s if I had to guess. I just thought that this was sort of a nice touch to the look. I again paired it with these amazing athletic socks that just happened to be the near perfect match to the pink set. And then I threw on these cute little Oxford sort of like menswear inspired heeled ladies shoes. And they are leather and they're striped cream and tan and they have these little tan toes which I think is really sweet. And I just liked how they looked with the socks. And then I brought the pink to the top of the look with this Kangol hat. And I threw this silver bow pin on the back of the hat, basically because I thought it was cute. And then on my hands, I have these amazing little knit gloves. I think I bought these in high school in my Madonna phase. I was obsessed with everything Madonna and I was watching Desperately Seeking Susan at least once a week. I thought that the length of the gloves and sort of like color wise, I thought that both of those things aligned with this outfit and aligned with like, again, my inspiration for this video. And then for funsies, I just threw a ring, a pinky ring over the top of the gloves, which is a very unpreppy thing to do, but I think it's nice in sort of more of a playful context. Again, we're using this bubble that I've been interested in as like guidelines and then we're just like doing whatever we want on top of those guidelines. Okay, so everybody's digested that outfit, right? On to the next, here we go. So the next outfit is a head to toe cream look. This outfit has also evolved from kind of a different world it started off one way and then it wasn't nearly preppy enough. It was a little more, I looked, I looked like a little Martian or something because I styled it in a very playful way. And so I brought it back down for this video, but maybe in another one, I will uh, recreate that one and that will be a different theme. But yeah, basically like what is more preppy than a gorgeous, chunky, sweater i'm picturing those like amazing actual vintage like irish fisherman sweaters and i also think of pleats like pleated kilts pleated skirts etc etc and then i have these amazing wool knit leggings that i bought recently just for like a layering piece and i think it's nice to see the little bit at the bottom quite like how that looks basically kept it head to toe cream and then on the feet, I did my uh, cream and brown Oxfordy shoes that I did from the last outfit. I think these work specifically in this outfit because, again, the tan kind of matches the color of my hair. And so it's like brought to the top and the bottom of the look. And then again, the bag is a cream color. The straps are leather and the bottom part is sort of this drawstring sack type thing. And then the thing that sort of makes it a little more playful, I think, is the jewelry. I have this amazing brooch of a lady, very fancy lady, perhaps an Edwardian, um, done in the 70s type piece. And then I threw on all of my silver rings and put on some, some different silver hoops. And I think that that sort of brings this outfit from a very maybe casual, cozy place into a slightly elevated place. Anyway, um, I had a lot of fun with these outfits. I hope that you do too. Just a little life update. I have been working on another project. For those of you who don't know, I do like a personal project once a year and I think that's why I've been producing less content and less videos for you to watch is because I've been sewing and I've been pattern cutting and 
I have been um, sort of dreaming and imagining and designing and you know all of these things and I am really excited about this project but it takes like a lot of work and it takes up all of my time. So basically I just wanted to share with you that that is happening and um, actually these are two of the inspirations for that project as well so I thought I would kind of try to translate what I'm doing in my like personal art world into YouTube space and clothing and like what I wear kind of space and just try to make it sort of play with the ideas in in like both worlds and in both sectors of my life but yeah I'm trying to film that project a little bit and so I hope that I can like put out some more videos based on what I've been doing. Sorry, this is scrambled, but yeah, I just wanted to give a little update. And if you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe if you want to see more stuff. I really love hearing from you all. And um, so please continue to comment. Any hoozy, I think that's the end of the video. All right, I uh, will see you next time. Bye.